This film doesn't really belong here, it doesn't talk about color grading or filmmaking in general. But I just needed to vent and talk about a certain attitude that some filmmakers have. With the introduction of the Black Magic Ursa Mini, a lot of people started criticizing Black Magic's approach to product development. And a lot of people started talking about Ursa Mini not having an ND filter. So I thought we might talk about a world with no Black Magic design. Imagine if you wake up the next morning and there is no Black Magic design anymore. So, first you wake up in the morning and you want to start coloring some footage. So you go to your basic three-way color corrector and you start working on your image. And while coloring, you notice that a certain object is moving across the screen and you need to track it. Only to remember that you cannot track anything right now because Blackmagic Design did not acquire DaVinci Resolve. And DaVinci Resolve still cost more than $100,000. So it's out of the question. So it's only available for the select few that works on the high end of the industry. So in order to track and color correct your footage, you have to use something like After Effects that was not designed to do that. It can do that, but it's not designed to do it. And it needs a lot of workarounds. And still, your footage wouldn't look as good as if it was graded in DaVinci Resolve. And after you finish coloring, you remember that you have to film something today. So you go and you grab your uh, DSLR that shoots full HD. Well, not exactly. Your DSLR actually shoots sub HD footage and upscales it to HD. So it will give you the illusion of shooting HD. So you start wondering when will you ever be able to use uh, 4K or use a camera that shoots RAW? Because remember, cameras that shoot 4K RAW are very expensive and therefore, quote unquote, real filmmakers. And you can't use any of them. And you wish if someone can make a raw camera that fits in your pocket, or maybe a 4K camera under $3,000, is that even possible? And finally, you wonder if you'll ever use a camera with global shutter that is actually under $4,000. And finally, when a company comes and gives you all these things that you wanted, you say the only thing that makes sense, but there is no indie filter. Now, Blackmagic Design have always been criticized for many things. Build quality, low light, no ND filters. People tend to forget that Blackmagic Design gave us the same things that we've been asking Canon and RED for a very long time. We've always been asking Canon for raw video, 4K in a DSLR form. And we've always been asking RED for uh, cheaper cameras. Remember 3K for 3K and cheaper media and global shutter. And finally, when you come to the no ND filter thing, this is a cinema camera. As a filmmaker, you have the time to work with raw footage, but not to apply an ND filter. This is weird. 